what's going on guys it's your boy mega rock and I am back with another video now this video here is actually a ninjala tutorial kind of video tutorial video if you want to say but this is um, what I've been learning since I've been playing the game um, I'm gonna give you a little tips and tricks on how to play this from my perspective I don't know if this is a, like this is what helped me win games, okay? So, let's get right into it. Now, first we're starting things off with the yo-yo, one of my favorite, favorite weapons to play with in this game. Um, it's fast, does long range damage. It's just all around good weapon, okay? And the loadout, oh my God, the loadout on this weapon is amazing. Okay, first off, let's talk about the pairing in this game, okay? We all know the pairing is basically like rock, paper, scissors, right? Usually people, when they attack, they are, they either attack with an up strike, and then you guys lock, lock on to that pairing animation. Now, so basically, up beats down, down beats side, side beats up. Okay, up is basically two buttons. If you was to move forward and press the attack button at the same time, or just pressing the attack button, that still indicates as the up button, as the up attack. Now there is an R button attack that kind of launches your opponent away. So I don't know. I have to still like tinkle with that R button attack and see if it kind of does activate a parry or it's it's its own thing. But maybe I'll do it in another video. But anyways, with the parry animation, um, with this rock, paper, scissors, it's kind of um, what guesses best, basically. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, right? So, if you was to went the same direction as your opponent, you will still be locked onto that animation as well. So, no one wins. And also, I just realized there's an L escape button that when you, if you have enough stamina, you can escape out of that whole parry system and get the hell up out of there. But most people still stay in the parry, so because, you know, they wanna win, you know? Now, trying this myself with an AI, um, if you craft a big weapon and that same person does the same thing that you did, you would win that battle because you have the bigger weapon. That's only if your opponent has not crafted their big weapon yet. You will most likely win those battles. Now guys, if you're also using the trick ball, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to use it, utilize each of your loadout and, and attacks and what you have to do, okay? Now, with my experience um, with parrying, um, if people try to attack you and you're stuck in that parry animation, try to see what they've done for that parry animation happen. Most likely, they'll do it again. But yeah, in those parry situations, you just have to hope for the best and try to clutch it, basically. <laughs> when you do come out on top and you win that parry match, um, right away, turn them into poop, okay? That's that Y button right there. Turn them into poop and start wailing on them because that poop transformation does give you a lot of time to wail on your opponent and give you that KO. If you actually want to come out on top of a one-on-one -on -one scenario, you have to actually look at your opponent and see what he or she is doing, okay? You always want to get that first hit to see what they're going to react to. Are they going to try to run away or are they going to automatically block? Now, once they block, don't attack, guys. Do not attack. What you have to do is wait for the animation to stop, then start wailing on them. After that, they are vulnerable to hits, but if they have enough stamina to come back from that, try to see. Go for a second hit, they'll be dazed, and then we'll go right go right back into it, okay? That's what I've been doing, and I've been winning a lot of games doing that. I also recently found out that you can stun your opponent with a gum. Basically, if they have so if they take so many hits, they get into this um, animation to where they're stuck in a gum 
um, that give you a free shot to hit them, do the transformation of poop, and well on them again, you know? So, that's, that's another tip right there. Now, this is a no-brainer. The, the rocket, the Fujiyama rocket, is basically, if you see a crowd of people swarm together, just use the damn thing, okay? Use it at your feet, because you don't take any damage, your team don't take any damage, okay? Um, anybody who's around you will take damage, but the bad side of it is, if somebody hits you while you're summoning the rocket, you lose that special, which kind of sucks. But I understand it's a big AOE move, um, and you have to get to them right away so they won't use that rocket. But yeah, if you see a crowd of people, I'll say run up on a wall, jump off, because don't use the rocket while you're on the wall because it is going to explode in your face. I've tried it, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> now, guys, um, if I'm missing anything, let me know in the comments. Um, this is my first tutorial video I've ever done on a video game. Okay, <laughs> I want to get, I want to improve myself so I can do much better at this game, so I can teach you guys some what to do, what not to do, stuff like that. Alright, other than that, I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video up as well. This is your boy Mega Rock, and I'm logging out. Peace.